Hello, I am Lisa Hennessy, and this is episode 86 of Knit, Pray, Crochet. I did not take last week because by the time I got home, I was exhausted. I went to Austin last weekend. Um, there were four of us that were together um, that hadn't seen each other for 12 years, the four of us together. Um, I had seen two of the other girls, but it's still been five years. So it was just really nice. It's just like you picked up where we left off. And so I was just tired, and I did not get, I think I knit an inch maybe on this and I started this little headband. So I didn't really have enough knitting to talk about, but I did get this finished. This is the um, Grasslands Tank, and it is universal yarn. It's a free pattern, and this is what it looks like. Now, in the, the pattern, it called to do this and underneath the arm for an inch and a half. And that it would have been the same width as this, and I just thought, there's no way. If I did that underneath here, it would be it cut in underneath my arms. So what I did is, since they were thinner on the top, I crochet, single crocheted on each side of it. And I like the way it looks. I'm still not crazy about the way the yarn pulled, as you can see. It's striped up here, and it's striped on the bottom. The back is the same way. I think I would have liked it better if it was striped all the way. But, you know, I'm going to wear it because this is the bamboo yarn, and it's, it's really, I don't, you probably can't see, but it's just this nice, silky, soft, cool. It feels cool. It's silky feeling. And I look what I have left over. Almost a full thing of this and very quite a bit of this. So I'm going to see if I can find some one skein projects of some type of shawls and where I can maybe trim it with this blue color. Um, it would probably look better in the garter stitch. You wouldn't be able to see how, you know, this. I'm, I mean, it just looks like, I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. But I, I'm going to wear it because I know this is probably $50 worth of yarn here, and I'm going to wear it. Um, but i got to find something to match it because I think I could wear it with a light denim. I don't have um, any pink, or this is just an odd color blue. You know, it's not a navy blue, so it doesn't really go with blue jeans. But you know what? I'll figure it out. I am going to wear it. So I finished this. I also finished another one of these tie headbands, and it's got the I-cord edging on it. I'm still trying to perfect the pattern. Um, I hopefully by the next <laughs> my next episode i'll have the pdf and i i want my husband to kind of help me tape how to do start the i cord cast on and the i cord bind off and bind off is where i'm not real sure how to write that out yet so that's why i'm still working on it so i'm hoping when i finish this one that i will have the pattern totally written out um you know and this one you know if it's finished i'll probably be giving it away um i already gave away um this today actually at the gym one of the girls worked there was a new girl and she was a young girl and she's got to get there early on a Sunday. And, um, I gave her, I let her choose. I had you know, a whole bag of them and she picked the blue one. I said, you can wear it for the 4th of July. I go, you know, you, it's cotton, so it's cooler, or you can wear it to pull your hair back and wash your face. And she goes, Oh my gosh, I'm in this whole new nighttime routine where I'm washing my face. And I haven't pulled my hair cut hair back. That'll be perfect for it. And she goes, thank you so much. This just made my day. So I gave her that. And then last week, um, when I was working at the apparel mart, I did give away one of my gift card holders to, um, they have the police officers that are working and it's hot, you know, and they're out there all day directing people across the traffic to make, cause people, you know, they don't watch for that, that stoplight and they keep us from getting hurt. So I really appreciate it. And I let her know, I just thank you for what you're doing. This is a gift card for Chick-fil-A. Just, um, thank you. And, um, I just appreciate you. And so, you know, I, I did that. So I gave two gifts away this past week. Um, and then I'm planning on, I mean, I, I have two or three more. I think I've got another red one and a blue one and some other that are mixed colors. So hopefully I'll be giving more of those away this week. I'm, that's my goal. I'm just, I just pray about it and just ask God to lead me and lay someone in my heart. And then I give my gift away. Now I'd like to read my blog post from knitprayshare.com. And it's called, God is our resting place. And, and the scripture is Psalm 62, 1 through 2, the International Standard Version. My soul rests quietly only when it looks to God. From him comes my deliverance. He alone is my rock, my deliverance, and my high tower. Nothing will shake me. And so, again, I always encourage you to look up different versions of um, in different Bible versions because I really like the International Standard Version of Psalm 62, 1 through 2. Because I know God is my rock and my deliverer, but I never thought about him being my high tower. 
I mean, what a vision that is for me to be picturing Jesus sitting on the high, his high heavenly throne. And as verse two continues, with him, nothing will shake me, including an unsettled heart. Resting in the Lord doesn't mean there's going to be calm in my life. It may be the only place where I find calmness is when I rest in the Lord in the middle of that chaos. Um, it's when I can surrender what is happening to me to God, trusting his promise that he will never leave my side. God gives my heart and mind rest when I lean into him. When one of the best ways for me to search and find God's promises are, of course, in his word. It has transforming power. It fills me with the needed inner peace, and we are one with God when we practice this. I mean, I can't tell you how many times, especially this week, I was like, Lord, um, just give me the words. I Just help me, um, guide me on what to write about this week. And then I just had a couple different scriptures about God being your resting place. So I thought, okay, God had kind of laid that on my heart anyway, and that was just in confirmation. So when you go to his word, it just can confirm and give you the peace. So I, I felt at peace writing about this this week. Jesus is called our Prince of Peace because in him we find our resting place. And that if you look up Isaiah 9, 6, it tells you that. When I center myself on God, I am able to stay calmer in the stressful moments. The presence of the Holy Spirit is what enables me to not panic. In fact, this past week, I had to take my mom to um, the, the neurologist ordered her to do a more intensive memory test. And it was an hour and a half. And I thought, oh, man, there is no way she's going to be able to make it. But she did. And I and I was told I had I had calm going in there um, and I had it. I was with her for the first 20 or 30 minutes because the doctor had to ask some questions. And um, then after she talked to my mom, you know, she would look at me to see if there's anything else I wanted to add to it. And so because my mom, she really, you know, if she asked her question, uh, how long were you married? Oh, gosh, a really long time because she has no idea. Um, and then she, you know, asking how many children she has. She knew that, but she couldn't tell you the ages of her children. But I didn't answer that because when she did answer, she was way off. She said my oldest brother was 40 and he just turned 60. And I don't want to correct her and embarrass her. So you just kind of, God just gave me peace. I mean, I, I didn't feel the need to have to interject when my mom was talking. I'm just, I finally just released it to God. And it's, and it's going to be what it's going to be. There's nothing I say is going to change. It's just going to frustrate her. And I don't want to do that. You know, God is really, in fact, that's one of the things, one, one of my girlfriends um, that I visited last weekend, her mother died from dementia. And she just said, Lisa, it's hard, but I'm going to tell you right now, you will be a better person because of it. And that's what I have to keep telling myself. I know it's hard, but I am going to be a better person when I, when, when it's all said and done, how could I not be? I mean, it's, it is giving me, like I said, me resting in the Lord. It's just, it's just, I can't, it's just, um, I just can't explain it. I mean, it is, it just gives a peace that surpasses understanding. Having a contagiously calm and gentle spirit with my mother does not come naturally. And so, you know, even though this is a difficult time with her, as I release my worries and my fears about the future to the one who was by my side and has already gone before me, I find true rest in my soul. And I just gave you that example at that doctor's office. I was not... Um, when she was there by her out in there by herself having to do some written stuff, I you know what I didn't stress out about it because it's out of my control. And you know maybe this will give the neurologist some guidance on whether she can have different medications or not. It, but I'm not I'm not obsessing over it. I'm not worrying about it because God just has given me that peace when I rest in Him and I give it to Him. I have peace. I'd like to end with my prayer now. Father God, forgive me when I don't cast my cares on You and let unsettling thoughts occupy my mind. Help calm my fears so they do not take my thoughts captive. Fill my mind and heart with your word, wisdom, and truth so I can rest in you. Hold those up who are weak in their faith. Let them feel the embrace of your loving arms around them. Thank you for your promise that you are with me and hold the future in your hands. I pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you again for joining me for episode 86. Um, I'm not sure if I'm maybe taping next week or not. I mean, I'm just going to be kind of sporadic over the summer. It just really depends on how much knitting I get done. I might get a lot of knitting done this next week. I might not. I don't know, but I do. I just feel like I am going to have opportunities to give away some of my gifts. So I'm just going to continue to pray about that. And that's just something I pray about in the morning. Lord, 
if it's your will for me to give a gift to somebody, just lay them on my heart clearly, open up the door for me to let them know they matter and to give them one of my gifts. And I, the girl today, when I gave it to her, I said, you know, I pray over the gifts I make and I just ask God to lead me to who I'm supposed to give it to. And I just felt like I need to give it to you today. So that's what I do. And you know, it at the more and more I do it, the easier it gets. God bless you. Have a great week. And I will see you sometime in the month of July for episode 87.